Yes, natumai kwamba nyimbo hizo zinazidi kuwa za baraka kwako mtazamaji na bado ungali nasi ndani ya Tandao TV. Mimi naitwa Anthony Elam ni kipindi cha Inuliwa. Jumapili ya leo ni jumapili ya baraka tena zaidi na natumai kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anana na moyo wako saa kama hizi wakati kipindi hiki kinaingia pale nyumbani kwako mtazamaji. Kumbuka kwamba unazidi kutufuatilia kwenye mtandao pale kwenye Facebook ya kwangu Anthony Elam Tandao TV Kenya pale kwenye Twitter at Anthony Elam mke e atandao tv hashtag ikiwa pale ni inuliwa na tumai kwamba baraka zinazidi kumiminika pale ulipo e, katika awamu hii nataka tuangazie msanii wetu wa suki ya leo katika awamu hii tutakuwa na changanua zaidi kuhusiana wasanii na kuna wakati tutakuwa tunafanya mahojiano ya moja kwa moja lakini leo nimekuandalia kitu kinajulikana kama artist profile yani unafahamu kiasi kuhusiana tu na msanii na leo nataka tuangazie msanii anajulikana kama Ada ada anatukia maeneo ya Nigeria na kiasi tu kwamba yeye amesomea uh, ye ni engineer yani amesomea u engineer sijui engineer ni nini uh, katika, katika katika college wale watu ambao wanasoma pale <laughs> university engineering amesomea engineering okay lakini baadaye yeye aliweza kubadilisha nia yake ya kuwa engineer na kuwa mwimbaji sio alikataa kufanya kazi lakini alichagua kuwa mwimbaji kwa sababu anasema kwamba katika mahojiano haya anasema kwamba huu ni wito na kwa sasa ana album mbili na anatayarisha tatu ni msanii ambaye unamfahamu amimba nyimbo inajulikana kama testify testimony ni nyimbo ambazo uh, bila shaka za baraka kuna nyimbo yake nyingine inaitwa only jesus ni nyimbo ambazo zinakubariki tena zaina e, tazama uh, profile yake hii ada This is Darwin Hyde. This is your brother Kirk Franklin. Um, gospel music, which is what I do, it doesn't really rely. It doesn't rely much on experience, you know. But it's a calling. Um, so it's not. Um, of course, you need experience for making music and distributing music and all of that. But I would say more because uh, I'm a better musician. Gospel or secular or mainstream, whichever way you want to put it, I don't think in Nigeria people will make a living from sales of CD. You know, um, given um, the peculiarities, the um, piracies, and all of that, I don't think anyone makes a living or makes a given, or his income or her income is um, so, uh, majorly from CD sales. So, saying that, and then I think um, the gospel industry, we are favored or we like, like would I say we are we have a, a better deal because we have churches churches have networks and structures and the average Nigerian is religious you know yeah so God is a very huge factor of our everyday life so we yes we benefit from we are not disadvantaged It's very interesting. Um, given the singles that have um, uh, we released, introducing the album uh, or leading up to the album, the I Testify and the Only You Jesus, the Cheta and the Jesus. Um, it's a very interesting mix. Yeah, but uh, 
I'm personally very excited about it. I think it has all the elements that make other, you know, so of course the rock, the alternative, pop, and the afro. Yeah. So you would always like to put your best foot forward. You would always want to um, represent or you want the content to represent your, at least to get to all the uh, aspects or your key strength as a musician. So, yeah, put it that into consideration. But then you also have to consider the people, the consumers, the people you are singing for because you're not making music for yourself. So you're going to put into consideration what they need to hear and what kind of sound is most appealing, especially if you have a message like I do. So you want to make it as appealing as possible. Just like you walk the streets of Galilee You are the hey. style of music um, they, I would like to call it alternative because it's a fusion of a lot of sound um, majorly because of my upbringing my parents are very musical people um, so I was exposed to a whole lot of music my father had a wide collection of um, classical music um, church music choirs you know the King's College choirs and then I listened a whole lot to Mary McKee and the Genesis and a whole lot of Maranatha, Integrity, um, so um, I was exposed to music, good music, you know, so I'm an artist, I'm, I'm a complete musician, so it's obviously going to reflect in my music, I'm not just going to do music, you know, just cut in a cut, you know, just cut the corners or just make music, I want to make something that is music and that could, you know, that will stand and um, speak for itself anywhere in the world. To be very honest, nah, never, no, no, I've not been, um, I would say I was a musician all through my training, all through while I was in school, so it didn't come as a surprise to anyone when I, it was like expected, you know, so this is what I do and I love it with everything. I testify, you're testifying. The song says every day, now I tell my story of how I overcame. So of course I had people, um, a whole lot of my friends, um, senior colleagues um, coming on the video. So we were just testifying. And we had people from, um, we had other people, men, women, children. It's, it, it's a family song. It's an all aspect song because you're not just going to testify about this and that. You're going to testify about everything and that's your desire. So we had them, people coming in to say, I testify. We had them writing on the wall, writing the topics of testimonies. um only you jesus um it talks about jesus what only you can do so of course um it's the song has a bit of drama because of the drums so we brought in um a drama crew um actors and actresses and they did a fun i think they, they did a fine job they did a very good job so we wanted to portray the everyday life you know because of the beat pattern it has the african background so we had to set it uh, and um, on the African background and um, the story about um, a situation that most people or in most cases is a, is a write-off it's impossible with men you know um, but God steps in so that was the concept for um, I am only you Jesus um, you know like I'm not the first person to put myself out there so I've learned from a whole lot of people's experience um, I realize that people have unending expectations of people who they see in the media, even in church, even in school. Once you're on a pedestal, people start to have an expectation. So I made up my mind to be true to who I am. 
and of course because you're especially gospel you're going to be reaching to a whole lot of people you're going to have to make certain sacrifices you know you're going to have to make certain sacrifices there are certain things there perhaps nothing is actually wrong or there's nothing actually wrong with those things but because it's perceived you know so and then to not to become a distraction on yourself you just so what i have learned from everyone for most people um who have been in this before you know you've got to be true to yourself otherwise you will keep changing with every comment and every recommendation and eventually you would lose yourself Yes, wow, wow, wow. Ada, Ada ndio huyo pale umemtazama all the way from Nigeria. By the way, Nigeria inafanya vizuri sana katika nyimbo za worship na hata hapa Kenya tunatazama nyimbo nyingi za worship. Uh, kuna nyimbo ambazo ni nyingi sana ambazo zinabariki watu za worship. Kuna watu kama kina David G, kuna watu kama Jimmy, Jimmy the Psalmist, kuna Sinach. Watu kutoka Nigeria pale waimbaje ambao wanaimba nyimbo za worship. Na natumai kwamba wa Kenya pia tunajifunza kitu na tutaanza kuimba nyimbo ambazo zina worship eh, Mungu katika lugha so, zote hata za kwetu nyumbani na watu watabarikiwa tu. Umesikia maneno yake ya mwisho haya ambaye anasema kwamba kama wewe ni msanii, kama wewe ni mtu ambao unataka kufanikisha huduma yako, wito wako, be true to yourself. Otherwise you lose yourself. Alafu kitu kingine ambacho nimejifunza pale na wewe kama umejifunza kitu pale anasema kwamba sacrifice You have to make some sacrifice here and there. Kuna wasanii ambao wataki kufanya sacrifice yote. Na kupeleka nyimbo zako kwa media, sijikuuza CD, kupeleka wapi, kufanya kuna vitu vingi branding ya music yako utahitaji kuweka effort and make some sacrifice ili uweze kuwa chini. Ah, e, e, malengo yako tazamaji. Kwa hivyo sasa barikiwa na nyimbo yake hii ambayo inajulikana kama testimony uh, alafu tutakao narejea baada ya muda sio mrefu mtazamaji. Oh, 